welcome back fans welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be passing some incredible information down to you which is 10 things you have to do if you're struggling with coding this 10 things i got it out of my own personal experience right these are the experiences i had when i was learning and i feel that down the 10 most important things that kept me going to get to this position that i am today before we start you already know if this is your first time coming here and you're not subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button if i would really appreciate that if you don't know me i am Soto. i'm a software engineer i've been doing this for the past six years and i am happy to be able to pass my knowledge down to you that is watching let's get started the number one most important thing that i know that you should do is that you have to set a clear goal now what i mean by a clear goal i mean you have to have something that you want to build that motivates you to keep learning when i decided to go into coding I wanted to build for my dad a mobile app where he can manage all the finances and everything so that he wouldn't always complain about being ripped off and all this stuff. And that was a pitch that convinced him to pay for my learning. It gave me a reason not to give up, right? Whenever I wanted to give up, I remember that I promised my dad that I wanted to build something like that for him. And that was the motivation. So set a goal around something that you want to create at the end of the day second thing you should do is to find a personal learning style right everybody has their particular way of learning and you as a person need to find that learning style you shouldn't always stick to what everybody else is doing now when i was learning how to code i always loved to have an idea of what the instructor would teach me before the lecture i would prepare ahead of the class now when I'm preparing ahead of the class, what I basically do is that I open up some YouTube videos. My goal wasn't to understand it at the point. I was paying more attention to just knowing that concept, knowing some few technical words around it. I always take a lot of notes down. I have a book back then that I always write down every single thing because there are some things that the instructor talks about that he doesn't even represent in his code. So I always take down a lot of terms. After the lecture, I focus on my code and I try to like understand everything the instructor did there. These are like the patterns that works for me and still today I still use it a lot. I still write down a lot of things while I'm coding or while I'm also watching another video to learn a particular skill. The third thing you have to do is that you should develop this personal confidence and not be afraid to ask for help right so most people find it very hard to ask for help they think about okay this person that i'm about to ask will he be able to help me if he rejects and says no what will i do and all this stuff don't be afraid to ask for help now i put it this way because that's what worked for me don't be afraid to ask for help from somebody that is above you and somebody that is even below you because in programming you don't know everything completely you don't you literally would have something or some aspects that you don't know and sometimes it might be somebody that is below you that has that knowledge or somebody that is above you it's all about you being able to learn so when you struggle with coding always reach out for help the first thing you have to do is actually practice you need to practice a lot you need to consistently keep coding for like at least straight six months before you stop a little bit at least every single day you have to be coding the amount of time you dedicate to it depends on you if you're a student you definitely have other activities that are going on like lectures and assignments that would prevent you to do a lot of coding myself i was doing a lot of coding at the beginning if i measure it i was doing about 10 hours of coding daily right for almost six straight months everybody has their own schedule so you shouldn't actually follow mine but i'm giving you like an idea of what it would probably take you because practicing will give you leverage to give you the ability to learn faster than if you're a person around you now in terms of how many hours you should be giving to it you could do five five is not bad you could do six you could do 10 you could do 12 it depends now if you want to move faster you have to increase the amount of time you practice every day one of the challenges you're going to see yourself face if you don't practice a lot is that you're going to find yourself having these doubts all the time a few days after you felt like you understood what they taught you so immediately you're done with your lectures make sure you practice that same concept over and over and over and over again the fifth one is debugging right i put it this way debug your code and debug other people's code debugging is one of the most important things when you're learning how to code because if you debug you learn 
right? And back then for me, I always found it very annoying when someone wanted me to help him debug his or her code, right? And my instructor will always send people, people that are just starting me, when they have a challenge, my instructor will say, go to Sumto, Sumto would help you out. I was like, why is this guy sending all these people to me? Instead, he should leave me so that I would be learning what I'm learning. But I didn't understand what my instructor was doing. Debugging will give you an opportunity to go into certain aspects that you're not really familiar with. If someone has an error and brings it to you, first of all, it's a privilege because the person thinks you know better. So you should see it as an opportunity for you to learn. Whenever you have a challenge or you have an error, focus on learning as you debug. The sixth one is you should be able to break down complex problems. Break down complex problems into small, small things. So for me, whenever I'm given like a big task to do, I try to break it down into smaller, smaller aspects. And I focus on those smaller, smaller aspects. Most times if you try, if you try to like think broadly around that problem set, you find it very hard to solve. So you have to like pay more attention to breaking it down into smaller, smaller sections. That would help you solve it faster. The seventh one is actually learning how to celebrate your success, right? So when some people give you like this cool motivation that they spent a lot of time coding and they are working back to back to back, trust me, there's always that point where you have to go out and enjoy yourself because you have been able to achieve something. So learn to give yourself credit for whatever you're doing. Celebrate your success whenever you achieve a particular thing. Let's say you finished a project or you finished a particular tutorial. You give yourself credit for that. Buy yourself some nice pizza because you've achieved something. So when you celebrate your success, it sets your mind to always work harder to celebrate more success because the mind loves enjoying itself. So give it more enjoyment by working more hard. The eighth one is taking a personal decision not to quit. Now there's a point you will reach you have to decide, no matter what happens in this, I am not quitting. You have to take that personal decision and stick with it. What saved me was the fact that I talked to somebody. Now, talking to somebody will change a lot for you. I walked up to my instructor and I said, I don't think I can do this. I gave him all the excuses that I had in my mind. But he already understood that I was running away from what was complex. So he had a way of convincing me. Now, the thing is, you have to take that personal decision not to quit. You have to find a reason always and all the time. Now, if it keeps coming back for you to give up and give up, talk to someone. Talk to someone who has achieved it. Talk to someone who has passed that stage you're in. Talk to someone who is making a living from what you're learning. It will give you a reason to keep going. The next one is that you have to find a very good community to join. A group of like-minded people, right? So while I was learning, I joined Google Developers Group and I always attended their Saturday event where they shared a lot of things about the space. It helped me a lot in terms of getting my first role as a developer. So join a community that is motivated to learn, motivated to share opportunities, motivated to share new technologies for people, right? And that will also push you whenever you struggle with coding because a lot of people around you are going to be moving at a particular pace and you don't want to be left behind. The final one is you should always stay informed. Like you should always stay updated with the new trends, the new technologies, the new languages, the job opportunities. Always find yourself in a place where you're informed about what is happening in the tech space. Trust me, the tech space, a lot of things is actually changing at the same time. You can't keep track of every aspect of it. But let's say you're in web development, pay attention to the new trends and the new things that are going on in that particular space. Because as things are changing, employers are demanding for new things. So don't hesitate to learn something that is required for you to get to the next level. I believe these 10 things I've shared with you will be able to help you in your coding career. If you have other things that worked out perfectly for you, trust me, just go on and drop in the comments. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button in order to get notified anytime I drop similar videos like this. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.